This might be the most popular snack ever and I'm talking about beef jerky. Now today I am going to be making jerky out of every meat. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna turn out fantastic or a terrible disaster? There's only one way to find out and that is to do it. But before we start, this part of the video is sponsored by Nexium. Hey, we all indulge from time to time and there's nothing worse than finishing up an amazing meal and getting heartburn. Ah, that's the worst. And today I know I am about to devour all kinds of meats. But not today, heartburn, not today. And that's because last night I took my Nexium 24 hour. This pill gives me 24 hours of heartburn protection. One pill a day stops the acid at the source. So steak, chicken, pork, all kinds of meat, bring it on because I am ready for everybody. Nexium 24 hour works two times longer per dose than H2 blockers. And it's doctor's number one choice to manage their own frequent heartburn. Look at that juicy steak. You know you want it. You've been dreaming about it, but you are afraid of the consequence. No, 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 my friends, enjoy that steak. If you have frequent heartburn, you can get Nexium 24 hour over the counter. One pill the night before and live your best steak life. Nexium 24 hour is indicated for the treatment of frequent heartburns in adults 18 years and older. So yes, enjoy that steak. Shop Nexium 24 hour now with the link in my description. Thank you Nexium for sponsoring that portion of the video. Now let's make some jerky. This is an eye round. It is perfect for beef jerky. Unlike ribeye or New York strip, it has very little intramuscular fat. And whenever you're making beef jerky, that's exactly what you're looking for. As you can see, this one came completely untrimmed. It still has a lot of silver skin and fat. Make sure you get a sharp knife and remove all of it. And as always, be careful not to take too much meat. And once I was done trimming, this is what it looks like. Once I cut it open, you can clearly see that it's very lean. I mean, to me, it looks like the fat took a hike and it never came back. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but that's a good thing for today's experiment. As you can see, we still have the fat cap on top. And even though that's amazing, that also gotta go. You really want to do what's called a super trim. For some odd reason, fat does not taste good in a beef jerky. So everything, as I mentioned before, gotta go. The next step is to slice it thin. You don't want paper thin as we'll be dehydrating it. You're looking for a quarter inch thick. That will give you the perfect beef jerky. Now, beef jerky can take a variety of flavors depending on the marinade that you use. And here's the one I'm gonna be using for today. I started with ponzu sauce, followed by by balsamic vinegar, a little bit of fish sauce, soy sauce, miriam, which is Japanese wine, Worcestershire sauce, hoisin sauce, honey, Brazilian hot sauce, a good amount of Guga's rub, salt, and to finish it off, onion powder. Now there's left to do is mix it well and your marinade is ready for the beef. Talking about that, make sure you coat every single one. Don't just throw it in. It is crucial that they all get coated nicely and this is the best way to do it. Once that's done, make sure you mix everything well, cover with clinch plastic, and let it marinate in your refrigerator for 24 hours. Before heading outside, I'd also decided to make some salmon jerky. All there is to do is to slice it thin. Again, I don't want it paper thin. If not, it will be way too dry. For my marinade, I kept it pretty simple. I started off with soy sauce, panzu sauce, a tiny bit of balsamic vinegar, honey, hoisin sauce, a little splash of miriam, freshly ground black pepper, and salt. Now all there's left to do is to mix it well and my marinade is ready for the salmon. Just like the beef, make sure you coat every single one before putting all of them in the bowl. Once that's done, cover it up and let it marinate for 24 hours. My very next one is bacon. I've never had bacon jerky before, so I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. But there's only one way to find out if it's good, and that's for us to do it. But with all that being said, here's our marinade. I started off with soy sauce, followed by hoisin, and finished it off with Worcestershire sauce. Just like before, make sure you coat every single one before dumping them all on the bow. I mixed them all together, and this is what they look like. Now all there's left to do is to cover them up and let them marinate for 24 hours. As you know, I'm gonna be using these pizza cooling racks. But if you don't have one, you can also use your cooling baking sheets. Anything will work, you just want to make sure the smoke penetrates from the bottom and the top. To make sure they don't stack on top of each other, I made some aluminum foil squares. They work perfectly and the most important, they're cheap. After everything has been marinated, the only thing left to do is to take them out and lay them down on the tray. Once I was done, I threw in a little bit of sesame seeds on top and they are ready for the smoker. But now that we have everything ready, all there's left to do is to smoke them. Talking about that, I'll be using my smoker in my lowest setting which is 150 degrees Fahrenheit. They'll be smoking for two hours and then going right into the dehydrator. But now I say it is enough talking and it is time to make some amazing jerkies. So let's do it. Why are you laughing? Look at this guy. What are you doing? What is that? It's, it's jerky. <laughs> it's 
if you cannot see what this is, this is a piece of charcoal, bro. If you check it out, what do you mean? It's, <laughs> it's the same I mean, color, bro. It's pretty close. <laughs> Listen, all right? It's not about the, how it looks. It's about how it tastes, all right? I gotta give it to you, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, all right, as you can see, we have a lot of fun. So we have some experiment today. We have some fish, which is salmon. We have an eye round, and we have the charcoal. Uh, yes? First off, yes, what happened over here? I don't know. <laughs> I, you know what I think? I think you should have went a little bit thicker. I think not only that, I think it was a combination of a, quite a bit of smoke and also the sugar. There's a little bit of sugar in there yeah, and honey and so forth. Bit. Yeah, so that could be what happened. Uh, but important is the taste, and we're gonna find out if it tastes good, right? You guys agree? Yeah, let's yeah. start with these. All right, let's start with the fish. This is the salmon one, everybody. Cheers. Well, that's good. Oh, I love right. it. Not fishy. Not at no. all. Smoky. Very smoky. Smoky. It's not too dry. It has still a little bit of moisture inside. Mm -hmm. So it's like a good balance of dryness with smoke, and it's a little sweet. Awesome caramelization from the smoking, I guess. So you get a little bit of the sweetness and like almost like caramel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like if you put some something with sugar on this, it will be a candy. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's just sweet enough. Yeah. yeah. Let's go for the beef then. We'll leave the charcoal to the end. Yeah, everybody. I'm excited for this one, everybody. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that one a lot. Yeah. This is better than any jerky that they buy on store. A little bit of the smokiness. A little bit of whatever you put in there. I'm guessing some honey. Yeah, there's a little bit of. It's a. It's not too smoky, like you say. It's a good balance of all the flavors together, and there's no preservatives, so the taste is really, really intense. Andrew, what do you think? I like it a lot. It's very flavorful. It has the bite that you want. Yeah. Not, not where you're like feeling like your jaw's working out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're not chewing gum. Exactly. All right. All right, try this one right now. Enough talking. The bacon, everybody. Let's see how bad it is. Cheers. Wow. That does not taste burn. Oh, that's good. I thought this was going to be throw away. No way. What do you think, Angel? I'm lost. What do you mean? <laughs> you thought it was going to taste like charcoal? You, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like it was over smoked. Over smoked? Okay. I would take that. But. It's not bad. No, no, it's not bad. I thought it was going to be disgusting. <laughs> I mean, Angel, it, what it do you really look like charcoal. It tastes nothing like it looks. <laughs> it tastes edible. It doesn't and taste burnt. There's some parts I think they do taste a little bit burnt. You think so? Maybe the edge? Yeah, I just had a little piece right here on the edge. Okay, let me try a little bit of the edge like you said. That, that, one's burnt. that piece what? is burnt. Oh, yeah. So I would say for the bacon, you have to take it out a little bit earlier and not leave it that long getting that smoke. Maybe get a thicker piece too. Or maybe a thicker piece, mm -hmm. but it's not bad. Anyway, guys, this is the results for the beef jerky experiment. Also salmon and bacon, obviously. Mama, pick a favorite. <laughs> Angel, pick a favorite. Well, they're both eating the beef one and that's the winner. It tastes the best. I would say also, for this one, it's nice. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. And if you are in a country that never had beef jerky, man, it's a perfect snack. You guys agree? Oh yeah. oh yeah. I read that this 10 times more than, you know, potato chips because it has too much carbs. And healthier too. Much healthier. This is amazing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.